So we have had seven rate hikes in 2022, right, to kind of like tame down inflation. It seems like it is working, right? But with all these rate hikes, what happens is that you know it's kind of like cooling down the economy, uh, leading to what we call unemployment increasing and fears of what we call a recession, right? So this recession word has been around for about six months. And in fact, in 2023, most people are expecting of kind of like a recession to uh, kind of like escalate and happen even more, right? So in Singapore market, right, what is that? one Singapore stock. What's that one Singapore stock? That is pretty defensive. It's pretty able to kind of like ride out a recession and it pays a really good dividend you as well. And it's one of those stocks that you know, I have no qualms about getting in on dips. Uh, if you were to dip to certain good levels, that's where it looks really attractive and you know, I have no qualms about getting in on dips. What is that one Singapore stock that you can put in your watch list in 2023, right, to ride out the recession? Right, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. Let me share with you that stock. We we'll do a quick analysis on the charts. Uh, we will look at the system that I have, and maybe look at the yield to see what has happened over the past few years, so you feel a bit more confident. Let's go. So there's one Singapore stock I will share with you would be this company or this counter called Sheng Xiong, right? Sheng Xiong, one of those um, firms I think most of you in Singapore would know as well, right? If you do like grocery shopping, uh, there are pretty much a few other uh, companies, but Sheng Xiong is one of those leaders and I would say their products are quite attractively priced, in fact, much cheaper than some of the other uh, supermarkets and we do go there quite often as well to get our groceries over the weekends and all that. Right, so Xing Xiong is this counter I share with you, and I would say that this is pretty much a very defensive stock. It has been moving up gradually over the past a few months, and it looks like there could potentially be more upside in 2023, even if there's a recession, and people will probably eat at home more, or right? just like what we saw after COVID, you know, I mean, with the circuit breaker and all that, people started to you know buy more groceries, and that's where the stock price started to run up as well. All right, so let's just dive into the chart of Xing Xiong right now to see where we are and what has happened over the past uh, one to two years, right? So this was Xing Xiong, you can see that um, currently trading at about $1.65. So I'll come to that in a bit, but let's take a look at over the past like two years since like COVID, we sold off quite badly when COVID hit and then we kind of like touched to somewhere around at $1 and we saw a really good move up right, as people started to you know eat at home, all right, um, sales of the company started to you know boom all the way up as people eat at home, the circuit breaker and all that. And it was quite a good move all the way until like in you know, 185, very good rally. And then we started to see a bit of profit taking as it moved down, down, down in 2021, 2022, as it kind of like consolidate a little bit sideways right over here. And somewhere around like, you know, middle of 2022, we started to see strength coming back. So let me just go ahead to analyze this stock for you right now. And uh, what are some of the key support levels? Let me just draw it for you. I think right over here, there was this little support level right around the 155 level. So somewhere around like, you know, in 2020, we saw quite a bit of selling, right? With the trend turning down. So we could actually draw what we call a downward um, sloping right over here all right downward sloping channel resistance line so it come like you know with prices come like touching it came down came down came down and around here right at the probably beginning of 2022 we managed to break above this up this downward sloping channel resistance lines which can kind of like show that there could be some signs of the trend starting to turn up right so it was kind of like consolidating then consolidating a little bit below this one 55, right? So as I say, 155 level right away here, it was pretty much a support uh, in 2021. We broke down, now we kind of like broke down right here. We consolidated below and eventually right around here, right? We managed to come back, that was in July, right? July, 2022, finally, we broke back above that 155, right? The 155 resistance level. And of course, there are some signs of the trend starting to turn up somewhere around like July, June, right? With this break above the 155, that's a good sign of the trend turning up. And also the moving averages. So look at the trend, we won't look at the moving averages. So just focus your attention on maybe the uh, red and the blue line. So the red line will be what we call the 100 days moving average. So you know, since like 2020, as we saw a really good rally, um, you know, it started to push to a high, a peak, and then we came down. And you can see that this red line, all right, this 100 days moving average come like turned down and it crossed below the blue line, which shows that you know, there could be some signs of a downtrend, all right? There could be some weakness. And indeed, we did see some weakness all the way from like 165 to about 145, right? But as I say, right, somewhere around here, right, this red line, all right, the April 2022, we saw this red line, 100 days moving average, finally crossing back above the 200 days moving average, right? And of course, as I mentioned, we broke this downward sloping channel resistance line right here, whereby we touched like one, two, three all right finally we managed to get above this this 
downward sloping channel of resistance. So these two signs can kind of like point towards an uptrend beginning to take shape, right? After kind of like dropping from uh, August 2020 to about like February 2022. Does that make sense? All right, so it was consolidating. And finally, I would say the confirmation came when we broke back above that 155 level. Okay, so let me just go ahead to see where we are right now. You can see that this moving averages, right? The red and the blue line. So this red line is 100 days moving average is still pointing up. The blue line is the 200 days moving average is obviously still pointing up. So right now, I would say that the trend is pretty much up right now in the longer term or right? any dips to levels like maybe the 155. So 155 is a critical support level. In fact, as I said, we broke up. We came back down somewhere in November. You can see right here, we touch it and we saw a rebound back up again, right? So anything near that 155 to 160, I'm not too sure whether it will go back to 155 for you to buy, but anything near 150 or maybe even 160 right over here, all right, we could potentially see some good bargain hunting coming back again, right? So what, what about the resistance level? So let me just draw it for you. Okay, let me just remove all these lines for you as we analyze um, this stock. So you can see that there is some resistance. What is the resistance? Resistance is the price level whereby, you know, many times the price of the stock will hit to that level, it touches, it just comes back down, it goes there again, it comes back down again, and that's what we call a resistance level whereby there are just a lot of sellers there, all right, to push prices down right so that's that's the way selling can happen but if we can actually break that resistance level then that's a good thing it shows that you know buyers are pretty much prepared to take the stock to the next phase up right next higher phase right so let's take a look at where that resistance line is for now and where what is that level whereby you know if we do break above that level if we do kind of like go above that level we could potentially see the upside or the upside momentum coming up fast i would say that this level will be none other than the 170 somewhere around that one six eight maybe about one six seven let me just draw these two lines i think it's very close right it's very close around that one six seven to one seventy level you can see right around here in fact over the past like you know two three months it seems like we have touched a couple of times one six seven right one six seven we came back down same thing here look at this one two three four times we touched about four five times and we are still below the one six seven so one six seven to one seventy all right will be what we call that resistance level whereby selling can actually come back all right by period. as i say if we do break that one six seven or maybe that one seventy level potentially we might see the upside continue and you might come like you know attempt to retest the previous high that we've seen just after covid in 2020 and what that would that level be let me just show it for you i think all the way up to maybe about 185 all right that could be kind of the next upside after that 170 right after 170 we break it we could kind of like shift this thing up we could kind of like shift this target range up all the way to maybe that 185 does it make sense? All right. So right now, I think the range would be somewhere around 160, right? 160. So let me just shift this range right here, 160 to about 170. So any dips, as I say, near 160, not, not even 155. 155 might be a bit low. All right. In fact, you know, over the past like you know three weeks to a month, it seems like anything near 160 buyers are starting to come out, right? And we can also draw. Okay, let me just remove all this here. You can see that we can also draw what we call now an uh, upward stopping channel support line so previously we had the downward sloping channel with season line whereby we broke up and then the trend started to turn now we can also draw an upward sloping look at this right here so we can draw an upward sloping channel uh, support line you can see over the past like one over a year all right since like uh 2021 october for one in a year we have kind of like traded above this upward sloping line okay this right kind of like near it rebounded 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 now obviously we're still above this line which also kind of coincides with where that 160 level is right? which also kind of like provide a little bit of support as i mentioned right anything near 160 above 160 we could see some bargain hunting gain right? so this is Xing Xiong, one of those defensive stocks that say that you know it can potentially ride out a recession effect uh getting a dividend yield of more than two or three percent all right and also more upside if we do break that 170. so let's take a look at what it says on the uh dividend so normally for the singapore market i go to this website uh dividend d-i-v-i dividends dot sg so just go to google dividends dot sg click on it all right that is the first one and it kind of like looks at all the stocks in singapore and you kind of like do a history you can take a look at the history of the dividends of companies so let's go to Xing Xiong. 
Sheng Xiong right over here and just click on it right here and this is Sheng Xiong Group right so dividend yield about 3.79% so you can see all the breakdown in 2022 3.79 3.7 2021 2020 is 3.21 about 2% 2019 so right now I think over the past three years about 3.2 3.7 around there all right of course prices have gone down a little bit that's why the dividend yield is slightly higher right so it offers a yield of more than three percent and not only that as i say if we do uh break the 170 more upside can actually happen so it's one of those defensive stocks whereby the uptrend looks good all right anything above 160 uh that's where you can consider as well all right so let's take a look at what it says on my one gt system so here is xing xiong on my one gt one good trend system whereby we had a couple of a bullish and even bearish signals that have came out over the past one or two years right so this system kind of like you know guides us on entry and exit and also kind of like you know alerts us to counters like this all right so to find a bit more on the system and kind of like the framework behind this system you can attend one of those webinars or web class uh you know can hit the subscribe button hit the like button all right make sure you're on my email list or you're subscribed to my youtube channel and that's where you will be alerted to uh, videos like this or when any webinars comes out and we'll let you know all right so let's dive into change right now you can see that uh, pretty much since like august as i mentioned right august 2020 all the way until like beginning of 2022 we were a little bit in a downtrend all right whereby the moving averages were kind of like pointing down prices were making like lower highs and all that until somewhere around like middle of 2022 things started to look good and we started to see a bit of an uptrend starting to form all right so in terms of the system <clears throat> it was a bit of a downtrend look at this the red bar at the bottom was pretty much red in color uh down 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 right a bit of bearish signals that prices moved down but as i mentioned somewhere around like you know february 2022 all right last year we started to see the bar the red bar turning to green in color that's where there are some signs of the uptrend starting to form all right and then we had a new or like green arrows up these green arrows up are what we call bullish signals right as prices started to move from like about 145 to 155 another bullish signal it went up a couple of bearish signals that came out and a bit of short-term selling but then you can see new bullish signal comes out each time in an uptrend and that's where it started to push a little bit higher very gradual uh, bit by bit it started to move up so ching chong is one of those companies whereby you don't expect to move like five ten percent in a day right it's a bit more defensive it doesn't go up really a lot it doesn't go down a lot it's pretty defensive but overall it is in what we call a bit of an upwards trend uptrend whereby it's quite gentle all right and of course you do get your good dividend you as well all right so this is what it says right now so i think over the past like one week we did have a couple of new bullish signals coming out right new bullish signals coming out there are no exits yet so as i say right we do break that 167 or maybe even that 170 level the upside can potentially happen all right gradually gradually all right all the way to maybe a 175 all the way to 185 as it retests all right retest the previous high that we've seen all the way in august 2020 right so this is one of those stocks which i like i mean pretty defensive one of those stocks that you can put in your watch list not just to you know get the dividend but also to potentially write more upside so i hope you like this video guys and you've taken note of this stock and if you do like this video hit the subscribe button as well give me a like that will really help out the channel and of course if you're able to receive ideas like this much faster so we can like send out ideas like this uh to clients of mine in philip securities by whatsapp much faster than like doing up a video like this so even to receive ideas like this much faster some other singapore stock uh, make sure you click on the link around this video whereby you can come on board as a client of mine in Philip Securities for free or right, for free especially if you're not getting any service or pretty much trading online on your own you don't get any service from a broker or I don't know whether he exists but you don't get any trainings any ideas any videos whatsapp nothing then you pretty much want to come on board ASAP right so I'll place the link around this video find out more click on the link and I look forward to speak with you uh, once you're a client in Philip Securities Joey here thank you so much for watching take care